Was Jesus Jewish? As a Gentile believer in Jesus, I was aware that Jesus was Jewish and that he was from Israel. However, no one encouraged me to explore his Jewishness. When a Gentile believer or a Jewish seeker questions whether Jesus was Jewish, I understand their curiosity. So, was Jesus Jewish? And why does it matter? In 1938, French Jewish artist Marc Chagall painted White Crucifixion, which depicts Yeshua as a Jewish man hanging on a tree. He is wearing a prayer shawl and is surrounded by images of contemporary persecution. A synagogue being burned, a man trying to save a Torah scroll, and a group of refugees fleeing by boat. There are, of course, many pieces of art that portray Yeshua's death, but Chagall's rendering uniquely emphasizes his Jewishness and connects his suffering with that of the Jewish people in 20th century Europe. Unfortunately, for centuries, many have largely overlooked the fact that Jesus was Jewish, as we could tell from his genealogy in the first chapter of Matthew. Scripture describes Jesus as the descendant of David, Israel's greatest king, and the one from whose lineage the Messiah would come. Yeshua was born in Judea and spent most of his life in the land of Israel. Growing up, his parents took their family to Jerusalem every year to celebrate Passover. As an adult, he continued to observe the holidays, including Hanukkah, which the Bible calls the Feast of Dedication. Luke 4, 16 says, quote, And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up, and as was his custom, he entered the synagogue on the Sabbath and stood up to read. Yeshua attended synagogue regularly, and it was there that he did much of his teaching and miracles. For example, he once healed a man with an injured hand at a synagogue. Anticipating this healing would cause some to accuse him of working on the Sabbath, he questioned them by asking whether saving a life was more crucial than ritual obedience. An illustration of the value placed on human life in Jewish culture. There were also many other occasions on which Jesus taught in synagogues, and people were astonished by his wisdom. One of the clearest confirmations of Yeshua's Jewishness is his conversation with a Samaritan woman in John chapter 4. The Samaritans were a group of people who claimed to be descendants of Israel, but disagreed with the Jewish people on significant matters, such as the proper place of worship. Despite the animosity between Jewish people and Samaritans in the first century, Yeshua willingly engaged in a dialogue with a woman he encountered while traveling. She was surprised and asked how he, a Jewish man, could talk with her, a Samaritan woman. In characteristic Jewish fashion, Yeshua responded to her question with a question and employed the first person, we, when referring to the Jewish people. Jesus' teachings were firmly rooted in the Hebrew Scriptures. One of his most famous sayings is a quote from two passages in the Torah. A man asked Jesus, what was the greatest commandment? And he responded with the Shema. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second greatest commandment, Jesus said, comes right from the Torah as well. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus never despised or sought to set aside the Hebrew scriptures. Rather, he embraced them and taught his listeners to do the same. Jesus is the most influential Jewish person who ever lived. More than 2.5 billion people follow him today, including a growing number of Messianic Jews. He is a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory to your people Israel. And this corresponds to an Old Testament prophecy. Then in that day, the nations will resort to the root of Jesse, who will stand as a signal for the peoples, and his resting place will be glorious. Was Jesus Jewish? There's no doubt. However, the salvation our Jewish Messiah offers through his atoning death and resurrection is available to Jewish people and Gentiles alike, to all who believe in him.